Hello and welcome to PMCLounge.com. My name is Joab. I am the voice behind all the videos that you see on this website as well as our official YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PMCLounge. Now, in this video, we are going over every single thing that we know about PMP 2021. I have created a couple of videos on this new PMP exam and I'll share the link to those videos as well in the description below. But I did not want to create this video based on, you know, the internet reports and forums and stuff like that. I was waiting for everything to be updated on the PMI official website itself. So in this video, we are going to go over the PMI official website and you can definitely follow along. I am going to uh, drop some timestamps also in the description below so you can check out if you are specifically looking for a section of this video and not the entire thing. So that's uh, feel free to do that. Uh, that's something I just want to let you know. And before I share my screen and head over to PMI.org, I just wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. I know 2020 has been tough on everyone. We are in this together. We are going to come out strong. And I hope 2021 brings peace, harmony and everything good that everyone has missed in 2020. So with that being said, let me share my screen and let's head over to PMI.org. So I have basically divided what all I want to cover in four parts for this video. First is we will go over what exactly is changing in the new PMP exam. And I am referring the official website PMI.org. I'll share all these links in the description below so you can check them out. The first thing is this is something that you would have read somewhere. We've also done a video on it previously, how the new exam starting 2nd January 2021 will focus on three domains. These domains are people, process and business environment. This process is basically all the processes that come in your PGKA mapping. So everything that you read in your PMBOK guide edition six, those are all the processes. And if we go into the exam content outline, we will find that this will be about 50% of the entire uh, exam. So in your exams, you can expect 50% questions in, uh, in the domain of process. So this is something which is uh, basically what you read in your PMBOK guide edition six. You also have two other domains, people and business environment. And we will quickly go over the exam content outline as well. But before that, here's something which is of extreme importance. The new exam is comprised of 180 questions. So the previous exam was 200 questions, but the new exam is going to have 180 questions. The time that you will now have is 230 minutes. So that is three hours and 50 minutes and you will have two 10 minute breaks. So right now uh, in the previous exam, you used to have only one 10 minute break, but in the new exam, you're going to have two 10 minute breaks and you'll have 230 minutes for the exam itself. But here's the big deal. Questions will be a combination of multiple choice, multiple responses, matching hotspot and limited fill in the blank. And we'll also see this PDF that talks about the prototype questions. But in the previous PMP exam, we only used to have multiple choice questions. There used to be a question and multiple choices and you need to select the right answer. But now you will have questions that can have multiple responses, matching hotspot, fill in the blank. Let's look at this PDF and I already have it open here. So these are the type of questions. These are basically prototype questions that you can expect in the new PMP exam. So this is basically drag and drop questions. Uh, what you got to do here is match each process in project stakeholder management with its associated process group. So these are the processes from the manage stakeholder, uh, the stakeholder management uh, process group. And you need to match all these processes with the process group. So what you need to do is you need to pick this up, uh, all the processes that are in blue, you need to pick them one by one and you need to drag the process to the yellow destination right in front of the correct process group. So if you think identify stakeholders belongs to planning, then you need to move this, drag this to the yellow uh, 
cell right in front of planning process group. So for questions on definitions and process order, the PMP may include items that leverage a drag and drop question. In this prototype, candidates will drag the process to match up to its respective process group. So this is how a question in the new PMP exam may look like. Here's another type of question. This is known as hotspot question. Candidates will be asked to interact with a digital graphic and use their calculations to estimate specific data points. What you got to do here is click the area where the cost will increase the most before mitigation, after mitigation, they've given some dollar values, percentage values, and you need to click the area where you think the cost will increase the most. So this is a digital graphic that you can basically interact with. And this is a type of question that you can see expect to see in your PMP exam. Here's another prototype. And this is again a hotspot question uh, based on the current risk register and the scenario described, which entry should the project manager edit? And you need to enter the correct ID number in this text box, I believe. And they've given a risk register snapshot of a risk register itself. So there will be a scenario about the risk, which is going to describe a specific issue. And based on this, based on the scenario that they have described, they will ask you which entry should the project manager edit. And you need to enter the ID of that entry in this text box. So these are the new type of questions that you can expect in the new PMP exam. Like I said, in the previous PMP exam, all you had was multiple choice questions, but now you're going to have new type of questions as well. As I promised earlier, we can also go over the new PMP exam content outline. I have it open in English here and I quickly wanted to remind you how process is going to have 50% weightage uh, in the questions in the test, but you'll also have 42% uh, questions from people and 8% from business environment. Another important thing here is about half of the exam will represent predictive project management approaches and the other half will represent agile and hybrid approaches. So agile is coming. Half of your exam is going to be agile and hybrid approaches related question. So you can go over this exam content outline as well. And that is the first thing that I wanted to cover as part of this video, how the new PMP exam looks like. Now, let me go to the second part that I want to cover uh, for this video. Uh, all of this is stuff that uh, we have already uh, basically gone over. It talks about how the exam, new exam is available on 2nd January, but this is what I want to uh, bring your attention to. If you are ready to take up the new PMP exam, you can learn about the PMP exam updates. We just did that. And then there is a new online self-paced course that PMI is offering for the new PMP exam. And the third point is review the PMP exam content outline which we, which we just did. So let me take you to this new online course. And this is the one, if you click here, you'll end up on this window. And this is basically a paid course. Uh, there is a limited time offer. You need, you can save hundred dollars. If you can, if you uh, need to take this up, you can register member price is $699. Non member price is also $699. That's interesting. So what will you learn? It talks about all that. Who should take this course? PMP candidates, mid-level project managers, those who, uh, who want or need training requirements to become PMP certified those who want to build up their knowledge in agile and hybrid approaches. So basically this is a training that PMI is offering you for the new PMP exam. It's mentioned here, introducing our new PMI authorized on-demand PMP exam prep, the official PMI online prep course to advance your project management skills and prepare for the project management professional certification exam available to January 2021. This is important. So this training will basically uh, teach you how you can take up the new PMP exam. It focuses on agile and hybrid approaches as it is mentioned here. So. This is something, this is the second thing that I wanted to bring your attention to. And the third thing is that there is a free online course as well that PMI is offering to exam candidates. So this is only 
for the exam candidates. Did you prepare for the current version of the PMP but will need to take the new version of PMP in 2021? Don't worry, PMI has resources to help you. And this is where it talks about how more than 50% of what you already learned in a training program for PMP will support for the new version, uh, which again launches on 2 January 2021. So you need not reapply or pay any additional training free fees. What it says is to help you bridge the knowledge between the current and the new versions of PMP, PMI will offer free access to an online course aimed at teaching concepts related to agile and hybrid approaches of project management. So if you prepared for your PMP exam based on the PMP exam of 2020, you already know that 50% of questions in your exam will be uh, based on agile and hybrid. So PMI is offering you a free training which will help you bridge your knowledge gap and which will teach you about agile and hybrid everything that you should know and this course is self-paced and it is offered online for free from 22 january to 18 april 2021 important dates keep a note on that so starting 22 january is when you will have access to this free online course and if you don't do well on the exam, PMI will offer eligible candidates 65% of any re-examination fees as well. This is big. PMI, uh, as far as I remember, has never really offered any, uh, you know, discounts on re-examination fees. But here they are offering 65% uh, discounts. So all candidates planning to take the new PMP by 18 April 2021 will be eligible for the free course. So if you have booked your PMP exam, uh, by 18 April, you are eligible for this free course. You can basically enter your details here and PMI will uh, send the link of this free course to you. So I'll share this link in the description as well. If you are preparing for the new PMP exam, make use of this uh, free course that PMI is offering. And finally, the last thing that I wanted to cover as part of this video is the PMP exam reference list. It talks about the list of references is for the PMP exam launching on 2 January 2021. So it basically tells you what are the books that you need to read if you need to take up the new PMP exam. And here you can easily see that PMBOK edition 6th is also listed here. Some people think that PMBOK edition 7 uh, will basically uh, cover the new PMP exam. That's not true. We don't even know when the PMBOK Guide Edition 7 is coming out. We don't have uh, exact dates, but they have mentioned a lot of books here, uh, which you can uh, find on the PMC Lounge website as well, pmclounge.com slash resources. We have also listed all these books that PMI is recommending, and we have listed some books that we are recommending as well for the new PMP exam. So check that out. Uh, this is the last thing that I wanted to cover uh, the fourth thing that I wanted to cover as part of this video. So that's all that we had in this video. I hope you got value out of it. Smash that like button if you did. It helps us stay motivated and create more content for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you and have a nice day.